Hello guys, this is Mesolite Visual with another video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be modeling a sloppy terrain in ArchiCAD. I'm going to be using a mesh tool to create an even topo surface with a lot of different heights. On this uneven topo surface, I'm going to place a realistic road with markings that will follow the levels of this sloppy terrain. This is something that I achieved of recent. It's been years trying to have the road on a sloppy terrain. And I'm glad to share this with you. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start, let me ask you to subscribe, like and share this video for us to continue making video like this one. For this exercise, I have this contour line information that we're going to transfer it into our mesh. I'm going to start by placing the mesh on top of these contour lines. Um, pick your mesh and then place. There we go. Make sure it's a sizable size. I will stretch the size to be closer to the contour line. I'll also do this side. Perfect. And then from here, activate the mesh tool from the palette then press and hold space key then click each one of these contours and then make sure it's fit to user ridges um, to transfer this information into our our mesh i'll do the same to all of these contour lines the last one there we go. And then from here, we're going to um, input the values of these uh, control lines. Uh, for this exercise, we have it in the screen. I'll pick, make sure you pick one, oh, no, no, not the polyline, sorry. Zoom in to pick, yeah, this way. Click on this one. Then elevate from the pet palette to input the the value of this control. Make sure it's for all ridges. Make sure all ridges are set. I'll do the same to all of these control lines. Do the same to this one. Input the value. Okay. Do the same to this one. Oh, zoom in to see. Like I said, make sure all apply to all. It's checked. And this one. And then I guess that's the last. 4030. Okay. Yeah. Let's activate 3D window to appreciate the result. Um, don't worry for now for these uh, disturbing lines. We will sort it out at the end of this tutorial. The next step is to place the realistic road into this mesh. Go to the plan and then from here sketch the road on top of this by using a spline tool. Just sketch. Uh, there we go. And then I will duplicate this and the same point so that I can now offset the copy by half of the half width of the road. There we go. Do the same to this side. Drag and place the copy then offset by half width of the road as well and then you can put as much as details like the road markings and all the like i'll place the marking this side even on this side as well perfect yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
I'll adjust to increase the width of the the shoulder from the marker to the edge of the road. I think that's more like it. Pick the wall too and then change to center then key in the width of the road as the thickness of the wall and then place by space key hold and then let's adjust it and adjust it to fit the width of this road make it uh, yeah I think this value is, is perfect okay so we're going to do the same to our markings they're going to have its own um, slab or oh, sorry a wall too and then define the colors of the road markings activate 3d and check and then elevate or stretch to increase or adjust the height of this like so perfect it's coming out nice go to the floor plan and then we're going to do the same to our markings and then space key hold place and place to this side and then place to the side as well check on 3d there we go we need to change the material of the the middle the model line marking to something like white change this material to or override to white thank you that's more like it yeah change these ones to maybe something like a yellow pick one of the yellow materials the color where are they oh. paint this one okay I think we're good to go this is more like it the next step is to make the rose and its markings to follow the slope of this terrain we're going to do this by using solid element operation select um, your road and its markings um, then bring in your solid element operation right click on the screen connect solid element operation then the target is the roads and then the mesh is the operator and then choose the intersection as an operation from the execute perfect um, let's get the operator as the selection then the target as mesh and then choose subtraction with upward extrusion then execute to clean up the connection of the the rows and the mesh there we go perfect um check let's analyze check is everything is is okay yeah i'm impressed so far so good there we go yeah there is the slope there's the slope okay and um, from here we are going to uh, select the road and right click to convert this to a morph then okay wait a bit for the operation to process
okay now we, we lost the life operation of the subtraction with upper extrusion we're going to redo it again um, select the terrain as the target and then the the road as the operator then execute wait for the operation to be processed yeah it will take a while okay there we go perfect let's see uh, let's select the markings to clean up as well um, uh, select this and then that right click to convert this to a move wait for the process okay then select choose this as an operator then the road as the target then subtract with upload extrusion execute and one a bit there we go perfect let's see on the let's mark you to have a, a section kind of this situation yeah we can go back we can go further and reduce the height of this road by duplicating the, uh, duplicate this within the same point or drag the copy down by the height of the desired the height you desire to have like this so and then while this is selected have it as an operator and then the main road as a target then subtract with download extrusion let's execute perfect from there i want to right click to convert to to move to get rid of the life operation yeah we're going to redo the same again because we lost the, the subtraction operation um go back redo it again I know it might be annoying a bit but if you want a cleaner model you you have to go through this pain by redoing stuff let's select the let's trim off the markings as well select the markings as the target yeah no let's deselect it this one this will be the operate yeah get the target and then subtract with down the extrusion extrude perfect let's see we can delete now before we delete I think this operation didn't happen. Let's do it again. There we go. Select the operator, move, then delete. Yeah, we're left with this uh, dirty um, ends of our thing, but we can we can spend our time and clean up this. I think um, if you have any uh, way of cleaning up this, I think go down in the comments below and then share with us how you can solve this type of problems or situations. Uh, let me try it one more time. I'll duplicate the markings then have a copy that copy i'm going to use it to subtract 
with downwards extrusion and then see how it's going to behave if it can happen i'll leave it to you guys um uh, let's share with, with others how you can solve this type of situations good really really impressed let's get rid of the solid element operation okay yeah the next stage it will be removing all these dirty lines in our in our model yeah i think that will be the next step cleaning up the the mesh we came to the end of our tutorial and then the last step is to remove this disturbing um, lines select the mesh go to the settings dialog settings of the mesh then under 3d appearance check user defined to sharp then ok this will get rid of your lines and wait for the operation to be processed there we go now you are left with a clean terrain that defines the control lines the control lines of the the terrain let's do it on the roads the roads are morph we're going to go to morph settings then under edges choose hidden then okay this will clean up these funny lines from your model wait for the process uh, there we go oh the parts that are left let's do it again edges then hidden okay Right. Wait and see. We came to the end of our tutorial. Ta -na 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 -na. I'm really excited, guys, about the result of this operation. Um, let me take this opportunity to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe, guys, our channel so that. We keep on continue doing videos like this. I guess I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.